Hello everyone, Rob is now taking a look at a very beginner friendly track here. It's called Hobble R1 uh, by Lassa Batong. If I'm saying any of that right, I hope so. If I'm not, I apologize. Um, and I'm using my Talon setup that I typically use for the races because it's like got a pretty quick setup uh, that doesn't die on battery management. Now, I'm gonna take this at a relatively nice gentle pace just to show you like we have got a gorgeous track line to follow it's pretty consistent throughout there's a couple of breaks as you can see but it's very clear very clean lines like it's you you can see where you've got to go just by following that track line pretty well um, the rest of the course the gates are very obviously you can see they're very large um, so they've been put together with the scaffolding um, and then tidied up um, to make it a bit cleaner to see with the red and yellow cones um, and we've got the sort of banner at the top so that you don't crash into that and it's very very clear uh, I do find that's an issue with the scaffolding sometimes is you can't see it very well um, so really well done on making that um, and what I like about this course is it is very beginner friendly because it's it's got these nice big turns you've got big gates like there's no pressure to to nail anything you like you've got to make sure you get your turn right but you don't have tiny gates to go through and probably the the most uh, obvious course to go into when you first start is the straw bale track one which is a nice friendly course but only once you're kind of proficient at flying because the gates are really small to start with and it's not something you're going to be used to so i think this is a really nice addition uh, so if you are a beginner definitely pick this one up because it's got a, it really helps bring that learning curve down makes it a little bit more gentle um, and you can fly at a much more uh, stable pace and you don't have to get it like bang on really quick and really accurate um, and the other reason is once you get better you can fly as fast as you dare along here so I'm just gonna go as fast as I can possibly go to see how I do um, because it's got the nice big gates you can you can test yourself on your speed and you don't have to be too accurate with the gates but you know it helps um, but it's definitely one that you would see yourself improving on lots um, I should uh, uh, should point out like I've got to apologize there's a bit of shake in my PID settings here because this drone I tend to tweak for different races so the PID settings aren't quite right because I mess around with the uh, props and the batteries and so on and the motors to get something that's a bit more um, gonna like manage with battery management throughout a, a long track um, so yeah there's a bit of shake in here but on the whole if I fly at a reasonable pace it's not a problem it's only when I full throttle it and try and turn and stuff we get some shake but like you can see this course it really lends itself to fast fast lines and if you're really concentrating you can get really good times in that um, and if you don't turn battery management on you can just flat out it the whole time and you won't have an issue um, and that's something that take practice to do and you like this is what i like about this course is because you will see your personal bests just in keep on improving as you see yourself like as you improve as a pilot because you'll be able to take that course from very early on and be able to finish it i, I think that's the problem with straight straw bale uh, one if we take a quick look at that for comparison um is and i get that these tracks are not designed to be beginner tracks or anything um, but they, uh, where is it uh, strawberry track one um, like this as a beginner compared to the track we just saw is very hard by comparison because straight away you've got smaller gates and these are quite big gates once you're used to FPV flying and racing but you've also got much sharper turns and I've already failed <laughs> um, and you know it's it's a much harder course to na nail down and I think that's probably one of the that can be a turn off for people new to this is how difficult it can be to finish a track um, because there is a huge difficulty curve in here so I think you know that is a really nice track that um, that we've got there the hobbler one um, and I really think the like the difficulty curve on that it really helps bring down well, it helps bring down the difficulty to a new pilot because you know compared like I can go flat out on that track because it's got nice big gates whereas on here the minute I try and increase the speed I start making mistakes because you've got to be a lot more accurate 
um, and you've got to be a lot more clinical with your uh, like just your your turns and your you know your throttle control and and recovering from uh, turns where you overshoot it as it as it were. Now. That's not to say this isn't a good track. This is a really good track. I really like it. I usually usually use that as a warm up when I'm getting into things, um, and I just I haven't been doing that lately. So, <laughs> but yeah, I really like um, this Hobbler One track, and I think if you're new to FPV, you're going to love it. If you're really good at FPV, you're going to just enjoy going as fast as you can. Um, so yeah, really well done. And I yeah, if you're a beginner, definitely subscribe to that one. It's a great track. All right, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.